Okay, I wanted to show you guys about the uh, Eastwood um, zinc coating because I had a couple parts that uh, that I cl cleaned and I don't want them to rust. So I did a, a few pieces already just to see how it works out. So this is just a piece right here that uh, I cleaned off, got all the rust off, and I wish I would have took it before so you could really see how it is. But it's just, just a dull metal right now. So I did do one piece. Uh, I did both pieces here. Uh, this was after the zinc, and then this is after the zinc with the polish. So after you uh, zinc coat it, you have to polish it. So if you can see that, that's actually really looks good, and it was only in there for a few seconds. Uh, probably could leave it in there a little bit longer. But uh, you see on this piece, it's kind of like a uh, dull uh, on this one. So I haven't polished this. But I just want to show you how quickly it works. So... Uh, you have your, your battery hook, hooked up here. I have a little bit of mess going on here because I don't have no D-sized batteries. So you connect your power wire up there, your hot wire, uh, to this anode, uh, zinc anode. And you just put it down in the solution, which is part of the kit. And you just connect this up here. And then just uh, dip it in the water or in that solution. Uh, I say about, depending on how big the part is probably about maybe about 10 15 seconds uh, I I just put it in there till I feel like it's comfortable <laughs> you can't time it or whatever but uh, I notice here when I when you first dip it in it's like foamed up if you actually look down in there you can see it all the bubbling and everything so I'm just gonna put this back in there for for a little bit longer I'm gonna put it all the way down there. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So let's just leave it in there for just a little bit longer. Let me check it one more time. Uh, that might be okay there. Okay, yeah, we'll take it, take it out and look at it. So you just wipe it off with a old rag, and you see how uh, it's got a coating on it now, and it looks a, it looks a little little dull like really dull so then you take uh, I'll just take the same rag really don't care and you put some of the metal metal polish on it so put a little bit on there like that put it around and then just work it in real good it's basically just like it's like polishing uh, any other metal I am wearing gloves and I don't want all that crap on my hand so I'm just gonna put that on there real quick. And if you got a, like a lot of a, a lot of little screws and stuff you want done, and you don't want them to rust. This is the the best way. This is uh, some linkage from a transmission that I have, and I don't want it to uh, rust out. So I just usually just rub it in there pretty good for a little bit. Try to get it nice in there. And I'm gonna set that to the side. I got a, another rag here. And then just kind of like buff it out. You can, uh, I do have a uh, buff uh, metal buffer here, and then you can it'll go really fast if you put it on there. But I just wanted to do it if you didn't have one, and just doing it by hand. So it's got a now it's got a nice zinc coating on there. And look at that, it's actually shining a little bit. I don't want it real, real bright. Because I want it to look like it was um, like stainless steel. But if you keep working at it, more you more you rub it, the um, the more it it'll shine up. But look at that; it has a has a pretty good shine to it right now. And um, I don't want it to I don't want it to be too shiny. But that looks that looks like factory right there. So I'm just gonna show you that real quick. I'm gonna put it on the uh, the buffing wheel so you can see how how it is on a buffing wheel real quick. So just give me a second.
Okay. So I put it on there real quick. I know. Sorry, I don't want to move the phone. So I wipe off all the excess real quick. And see, just for that little bit that's on a, the buffing wheel, it actually came up pretty good. So that was uh, well worth it. I think the kit, uh, I want to say it was about 60 bucks, but you can you can do a lot until until this thing is no more good. And you have to get another one. Um, zinc anoid, I, I believe that's what it's called. And I think you'll pick those up from like any boat shop or something. And uh, and that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching.